bitch you won't believe what the fuck happened like i am upset i need money so i'm gonna get a second job while i'm crying and hyperventilating like i didn't think that that was the time oh my god what is that oh my god what is that who's got the bag in the shoes who's got the right in the pool that's just what the bad bitches do so you gone broke you fool i get all hundreds they blue Inch weave, no glue, everything in brand new. That's just hey, friend. My name is Ari Kari, and today is another vlog video. What did he say? Oh. Um, today is Wednesday, Wednesday, July 6th. By the way, shout out to Aaliyah's face. She got a Bentley, so I made that my screensaver because she worked really hard. Like. I've, you know, I followed her on YouTube for a long time and I've like seen her growth. By the way, if you've never seen my face before, hi, my name is Ari Kari. This is another one of my vlog videos. I do videos like these all the time. I have a playlist of vlogs, so definitely check the description down below. In the last vlog, which I will have linked in the eye above, we went to DC, the District of Columbia Beach. Um, and we went to the Bridgerton Experience. That was fun. Um, I had an amazing time. I also got sick as fuck, like really, really sick. So not COVID, but still sick as a dog. So that happened. Um, what else happened in that vlog? Some dating stuff happened. Like it's just, it's a lot. So definitely check out that vlog. Again, it'll be linked in the eye above, as well as my full playlist of vlogs are linked in the description box below. So it's been a couple of weeks since I vlogged because I was so sick that i didn't really do anything so i didn't feel like it was worth showing y'all and then y'all tell me why like our server crashed with my job so we've been getting paid but we ain't did shit like it's this is what week three going on to week four of not doing anything so you know don't get me wrong i'm getting paid to literally sit there and do nothing but it's still like kind of worrisome also if you follow me on twitter which you should follow me on twitter if you don't my Twitter is now on the screen, editing me, don't be lazy. My Twitter is now on the screen, follow your girl because I'll be live tweeting in a moment. Also, if you're not in my close friends, bitch, you should be in my close friends because as y'all know, I've said this in my other vlogs, some stuff I don't put on like the internet for real. Like there's some things that I don't wanna share with everyone, but because I love y'all and because I feel like we're friends, Follow me on Instagram, DM me and say like, hey girl, can you add me to your close friends? And I'll add you. And you could see like the behind the scenes stuff or like the TTT that is not gonna make it on here and it's not gonna make it anywhere else. Maybe I might throw like subliminals on Twitter, but like y'all not really gonna see who I'm talking about or their faces or anything like that, unless you in a close friends. The close friends is very messy. Child, a messy bitch that lives for drama. Two things. I had a mental breakdown. I didn't film it because in the moment, I didn't think like, let me pick up a camera while I'm crying and hyperventilating. Like, I didn't think that that was the time. Shout out to Told by T. Her and I are like friends for real. Shout out to Told by T if you see this, girl. I need to give you my phone number because we need to hang out someday. Um, I think she lives like in New York, but like we need to hang out because she's so nice. Like, and she definitely checked up on me. I was just, you know, ranting on Twitter because that's what I do. And she was just like, you know, if you need anything, like, let me know. And I was like, oh, now I have a, a, like a real internet friend. I love it. But yeah, so moving on, I definitely had a mental breakdown because it's just like, damn, I don't know. It's like, I feel like my inner child is like fighting with the adult version of who I who I am and why I say that is because the inner child in me is like go for your dreams go for what you want go for you know what will make you feel happy and fulfilled but then like the adult me is like bitch you need stability you need 401k you need you know money to go in the savings like it's more of that than like following your dreams and don't get me wrong my dream is to be a TV show producer. So you got to start off as a production assistant. And then as you continue to be a production assistant, you will continue to work on more shows. That's how you build your resume to then be able to be a producer. Um, however, comma, um, it's just really hard to get into. Like unless you are in college and can intern, 
it's really no other way other than just like you know somebody like you can apply on forums or apply on websites but for the most part if you don't know someone who can you know who can help you like if you don't know anybody then like you're not gonna get hired and that's really for anything like but especially in tv production or in film production if you don't know somebody you're not gonna be on the production team like and it's very annoying because I don't know it's just a lot harder to get into than you would think so you know in this time of my current job like just not letting us work um because of the system crash um i've been applying to more production jobs but i've also been applying to like desk jobs as well and i actually had an interview today for like a desk job but i would still be like taking calls and i'm over call center work if any of y'all have worked in a call center y'all know it's tiring it's draining i've gotten to a place now where i'm not on the phone like i do escalations which is mostly just me sending emails I rarely take a phone call like I might get one phone call every couple days I might even get one phone call in a week to be honest which I love but the call volume already is slow for what I do and this job offer you know to work in a call center it's more money it's significantly more money but like I don't I don't know if I want to do it spoiler alert I don't take that job <laughs> I do get a second job, a new job, and you'll see what that is. But that call center job I was talking about, the the one that it would have been more money and whatever, girl, hell no, nah. hell no, nah. uh oh. Like, I literally would only be there for the money. At least the job I have now, I do like have fun with it, you know, because it's so chill. Like. You know, I'll be working, I'll be watching TV, I'll be doing stuff, I'll be editing videos, like I'll be doing stuff because it's just so chill, you know, but it doesn't pay that great. So I don't know. But then it's also like I'm trying to hold out for a production assistance job because it's no point of me getting a whole new job just to quit that to then be a production assistant. I might as well just keep the job I have and then, you know, let it go if I have to or, you know, let it go when it's time. But I don't know I was just freaking out about that and then freaking out about being broke and freaking out about the fact that we are belly button deep in a recession okay I'm talking about to the brim neck deep Adam's apple for you Nicks. but you know just like my god nostril deep in a recession recession I hate it ghetto throw it away so that's what's going on. Um, another thing, Diamond, my roommate, she is in Chicago right now. She's going to be gone for the whole month. So y'all might not see her in a vlog for a while, but she is gone in Chi-Town, Chi-Ami. Um, what else? Ooh, so one thing I will say, my manifest game has been crazy. So, you know listen there is something i wanted to share but i don't know my daddy be watching my videos sometimes and i don't want i don't want him to be know all my tea but um let's just say i was talking to this girl right it was remember in not the last vlog which it was, was linked in the eye but a vlog like before that which i will link this that vlog in the eye so you can watch it i talked about how i went on a date with a girl that was six one y'all remember that vlog if you if you've been watching you should remember the vlog if you don't remember the vlog maybe you need to watch but I went on a date with this girl that was 6'1". First, it was with my close friends, which again, DM me. Ask to be my close friends. You got to follow me first. But DM me. Excuse me. Point is, the girl, like, her dog died. Did I tell y'all about that? So basically, her dog, like, passed away. Not to, I'm not trying to be funny, but at first, her and I were supposed to meet up at a bar. We didn't because she was like, my dog is sick. Can you just come over to my house? And I was like, okay. I thought she was just trying to, like find a way to just make me come to her house but no her dog was really sick because her dog literally died like the next day so because of that she was like not really in you know in the mood to date or really to do anything like that because her dog had passed away which I completely respect so I waited like three weeks and then you know because she was just so fine she 
she was so fine. I don't want to date her because she cheated on every bitch she been with. So clearly she gonna cheat on me too. I'm not that small. Like I'm I'm not that slow. You know, like I'm very aware. If you don't cheat on everybody you been with, bitches you don't loved, bitches you don't moved in with. I know you finna cheat on me. Why would I take you serious? I just want listen, cause the motherfucker is fine. I just want I just want the body I don't I don't want the dating <laughs> I don't want the relationship I'm just trying to catch the body that's all um but yeah so I don't know she she's just so fine I see how she be cheating because damn it <laughs> I know everywhere she go bitches wall to wall like Chris Brown ho what did he say <laughs> um but yeah so she, I've texted her it's been like three weeks it's literally been almost a month I texted her I didn't get no response for like a week so in my mind I'm like oh I'm never gonna get that back and I was I literally was laying down yesterday and I was just in my dreams I was talking to God I'm like God please she was just so fine I don't want to date her I'm not gonna like take her serious just please because she was just so fine she was oh my god so fine so fine and as i'm saying this in my mind like i get a ding on my phone but i'm thinking like oh it's just like you know one of the ladies in my rotation probably just texting me um so i you know get up from my little nappy nap and i go to my phone because you know with us being in this holding pattern even though we're getting paid for it i still check my phone periodically because if there are any updates my manager will call us or text us so i'm like oh let me check make sure i didn't miss an update or anything and guess who the fuck it was the fine one the fine one so yeah my manifest game groom I think I think I done opened my third eye. I think that third eye a little open. I think that third eye blinking at at one of y'all. <laughs> but yeah, it's just ooh, she's so damn fine. My God. So anyway, she back she back you know back again. I might even show y'all her because that's how much I don't want to date her that i don't even mind showing her on the internet because i know i know i ain't taking her serious i'm just here for the sex <laughs> i'm just here for the fuck so i know i'm not gonna take her serious so i don't have no problem showing her to the internet why not mine as well so anyway um one of my friends alexis i don't know if y'all ever met her we dated like last year in january and then decided just to be friends because you know we wasn't you know it just wasn't um it wasn't given that so I dated her and then we became friends we were platonic friends it, we, it'll never go past that like we've hung out several times it's never given that we're just friends she's gonna come over i'm trying to invite shayla over but i don't know if she's back from vegas she went to vegas welcome to vegas baby i want to ride it baby she went to vegas um she was like girl we need to go as a girl's trip because she went with like a man that's not her man but is her man like he used to be her man and then she was like nah but then now he's not her man but her man if you get what i'm saying um but she went with him and she was like it's cool but like going with like someone you talk to versus going with your girls is different which i completely understand so her and i we might need to bust a trip her me her and amani would have a ball but anyway um what else do i have to update you all on um but yeah i'm trying to invite alexis shayla chantel as well shayla's friend who i'm friends with too i love chantel so if all three of them all three of y'all if they could all come i might even invite again the fine one mm, mm -mm. i might even invite her that day too mm, i just want to look at her she don't need to talk Cause that's where she loses me that's why i can't take her serious because when she do this she lose me but the but the the body the face oh card swiping okay never declined eating the girls up okay never declined good morning so um it's friday and bitch we already gotta put the fine one in the dirt child 
because I don't know I texted her after she texted me and then I FaceTimed her because I texted her after she texted me she ain't saying nothing back that was like what Wednesday and then yesterday I like FaceTimed her because my friend Shayla my bestie love her she was supposed to be coming over tonight and then my other friend Alexis is supposed to be coming over tonight too it might just be Alexis because Shayla has a funeral to go to so she might not be able to come but I was trying to invite the fine one like hey you want to come over I got a zit and I don't like it I need it to go away um but I've been getting like random ass breakouts lately like just the most like sporadic like random ones so I don't fucking know but um what was I saying so the fine one we might have to put her in the dirt y'all we might have to listen I already unsaved her number at this point I'm about to delete the thread so the next time we talk she has to hit me up which is what I did before like I texted her she didn't text me back so I deleted the thread but then she texted me so I'm like oh okay let's see what's going on but I FaceTimed her yesterday she declined it because it didn't ring all the way through because you know with FaceTime it'll ring all the way through and then it'll say like so and so is not available or like you know something like that and then ask you to call back it didn't do that it just declined so I'm like it rang a little bit and then it declined I'm like okay oh my god what is that Yo. oh my god what is that don't get me wrong she's very attractive to look at but I'm not chasing nobody you know what I mean it has to be more than that for me to just be actively chasing you like one of the girls that I'm like quote unquote actively chasing it's because I want her to get me a job it's I don't even really want sex or anything like that like I, I want a job please don't try to sleep with me ma'am I just want the I just want a job <laughs> um because she works in production so that's more so like someone that I can actively chase and I'm okay with that because I'm chasing it for a bigger reason than just this bitch is fine you know what I mean and the fine one don't get me wrong very attractive very attractive but I also am at a place where every single person I'm talking to is very attractive or very like conventionally attractive you know they all tiktok stuff they all instagram stuff they all you know what i mean like everybody fine so it's not that's not enough for me to be like let me keep chasing this bitch no at this point if she wants to talk to me if she wants to hang out with me if she wants to do something she will let me know other than that i'm going on with my life um but yesterday was an eventful day i had that happened with the fine one then there's a girl from louisiana that i've been talking to we're gonna call her autumn i'm giving her a name because i feel like she's gonna be around for a little bit so we're gonna call her autumn her name isn't autumn but she has like a seasonal name like you know like winter or something is she has a seasonal name so that's why it's funny um but yes autumn basically told me you know like what are we doing which you know i never thought i would be the one for someone to tell me what are we doing because usually when i'm dating people because y'all know it's my first whole phase usually i'll be like monogamous and i only date one person but she was like what are we doing and i'm like like not this happened to me now i'm the one like you know oh what do you mean <laughs> but she was like you know I'm looking for something versus you're not looking for anything da -da -da -da. and I was like well I'd like to get to know you so we'll see how that goes and then um hey, editing me again I have the nastiest zit on my mouth in this clip and it's really bothering me and I just wanted to let you know I apologize like that zit was like return of the mac like i would keep popping it and it would keep coming back and then i would keep popping it and it would keep coming back like the very next day it was very resilient it was a very resilient zit so eventually i got like one of those little skin patches like the you know the medicated patches for acne and it went away like it went down so it's not you're not gonna see it the whole video but i'm just it's staring at me and I'm staring at it so I'm sure if it's distracting me it's probably distracting y'all I'm sorry um another girl she's from Baltimore she's actually gonna fly here she pay for her own ticket relax but she's gonna fly here to Atlanta to come visit me I said not a reverse fly out like she flying to visit me to meet me spend time with me and she very fine too everybody fine everybody is attractive even the producer girl 
very attractive and she had a real diamond chain on i saw that because i've been you know i've been in atlanta long enough to tell the difference between a fake diamond chain and a real diamond chain the clarity is very different especially like in dark lighting because when you have a fake chain on they usually have to put the flash on in picture so you can see the diamonds to make it like glisten a real diamond chain you could be in low lighting no flash and it's gonna glisten that's how you could tell um you know very nice very and she got a little you know she's a show producer she clearly has some money but um but yeah i want a job out of her more than i want to date her like i will job me please we never have to talk we never have to kiss we never have to do nothing um what else who else am i talking to right now um that's really like the main ones you know I might get a text here and there from somebody but other than that like that's the main ones I was talking to like 10 people at once and that was just too much energy for me and I realized I was only talking to so many people because I was distracting myself from feeling again I told you I had a mental breakdown I was trying to distract myself from feeling like lost and feeling like what the fuck is going on and I'm broke and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing so that's why I had to start cutting people off because why am I here? Why am I talking to all of y'all when you're not doing anything? You're not benefiting me in any way. You're not encouraging me. You're not putting me on the jobs. You're not helping me. So why the fuck are you around? You know? And that's the beauty of the whole phase is I, I'm not dealing with nobody that doesn't benefit me in some type of way. You know? So anyway, um, that's it. I'm going to, you know charge my camera battery because it's about to die and then i'll talk to y'all probably later Bye. bitch on this episode of ari needs a part-time job so y'all guess the fuck what so i went to tj maxx <laughs> earlier today um and i was like i'm gonna ask them if they're hiring same thing that i did at target i asked if they were hiring and then i applied that day i asked if they were hiring girl tell me why the hiring manager was there friend <clears throat> excuse me didn't mean to burp the hiring manager was there so your girl i met her um she showed me exactly where to apply and she was like, can you come tomorrow at one o'clock for an interview? And I said, yes, ma'am. So I just applied and then, you know, tomorrow at one o'clock, I'm gonna go there and your girl's getting hired, okay? Your girl's getting money. Your girl's getting supplemental income. I'm still working towards my dreams. Like, I still want to work in production, but until I get that call, I need to make some fucking money right now so that's what's going on i just wanted to let you guys know i'll probably check back in tomorrow and let y'all know how the interview went if they offered me the job when i start who knows i might get a little discount i might be able to share that little discount Shh, don't tell nobody that's why i need to be my close friends i might put it in my close friends if somebody wants to use my discount Ooh. um but anyway <laughs> but i'm really excited so we'll see we'll see what happens but just apply for that i'm about to charge my phone and my laptop because they're both about to die and then i'll check in with y'all later i got some candles as well as what else did i get oh and i got some sandals some really really cute sandals as a tall girl it's hard to find sandals um because they just i don't know like regular places they don't really be making cute out cute sandals for tall girls i am a size 10 so but look at these they have little rhinestones on them these are jessica simpson sandals her shoes are cute like i've been seeing her shoes a lot like in macy's and stuff and she has really cute shoes and i was looking at a pair of shoes just like these but on shein for significantly less but <laughs> the gift and curse with shein is that you order it and you're not gonna get it for a month these was there right then and there in my face so i just bought them and you know it's tj maxx so you still get a sale but i don't know why my camera's so blurry like the background is in focus but not me i don't like that i need to go take this camera in but anyway y'all i'm gonna check in with y'all later i just want to let y'all know we might be getting some extra money some extra coins yay bitch guess what i got the job so you're not special you're like other girls that's the i'm not special <laughs> so your girl is gonna be working at tj max as my second job because i need some extra fucking money and instead of just complaining about being broke and worrying so much about 
the fact that, you know, my blur. Instead of complaining so much about being broke and worrying about not having money and just being stressed about it, I decided instead what I'm going to do, just get another job. So that's what I did. I still have my day job, you know, I work from home, but I'm excited to be working at TJ Maxx as my second job. One, because I get to be around purses and bags and shoes and jewelry and the things that I like but also because it forces me to be social y'all know i've worked from home now for almost two years and because of working from home you know with the pandemic i just am not around people much it's very hard to make friends when you're alone all the time so this gives me an opportunity to make friends to meet new people again make some extra money and get my little discount if i want me a little bag or something <laughs> a little shoe or something um, but more than anything, like, I'm just excited because I'm one of those people, and y'all don't know this about me, or some of y'all might, I don't know, but I'm the type of person, like, I'm not afraid of work. I've never been afraid of work. And while I am a runner and a track star trying to get to my dreams, you know, because I want to work in production, I want to work in TV and film behind the camera, while I am going through that or even just trying to find jobs as like an executive assistant or you know admin jobs or office manager as I am struggling with trying to get a more professional job in the immediate meantime I need more money I am broke I need money so in the meantime while I'm waiting on you know these opportunities that I really want I'm gonna go give me a second job because I need the fucking money and why not? And to me, I don't know, I'm one of those people where I'm not too good for anything. Like I worked at Target all of college and I worked at Sephora while I was in college as well. So I had two jobs and was full-time in school because I need the money. And you know, Sephora being my second job when I was, you know, doing two, um, it allowed me to be around stuff that I like, makeup, aesthetics you know things like that i also got to learn from real makeup artists i got to go through the certification process to be a makeup artist like i got to do all of that because i needed the money and it was something fun as well you know working at target was the most fun job i've ever had to be honest but just being real like i know for what my qualifications are like is as much as I want a good job, a higher paying job, a job with benefits, a job with salary, a job with 401k, a job with these things, a job with healthcare, I am just not there yet. And for some reason, I'm putting myself out there, I'm applying, I'm doing all these things, but it's just, I'm just not getting it at this time. In the immediate, you know, my immediate necessity while I am fighting for my life to get a, a nicer job or a better job I need money so I'm gonna get a second job but I'm just I'm very proud of myself because I feel like a lot of people will struggle but be lazy and I don't want to call people you know that are poor lazy or broke lazy because poor being poor is a systematic issue you know and being poor is a cycle to keep people poor to keep people in debt or to keep people you know broke so that way they have to work certain jobs for the rest of their life because it keeps them out of education it keeps them out of higher paying positions shit you can even have a degree and still not be able to get a higher paying position case in point me you know so i say all this to say i'm not judging people that are broke what i'm saying is like you can be broke and like just not do anything and just sit around all day and just complain or you can be broke and say you know what I'm gonna get a second job because that is my immediate need more money so that's all I just I don't know I'm very proud of myself because I feel like for so long I was so tired of working so hard because you know at the height in college I was again working at Target working at Sephora and I was an intern and my internship was full-time as well and I was full-time in school so I was you know working my ass off I mean all I would do was go home to sleep and then be right back out working again I was so tired and I was so overwhelmed because I just felt like that's all I did I didn't have a life I didn't really do anything like in college I wasn't in any clubs I wasn't in any groups like I had to work for everything that I had so that's what I did and 
I think because of that, once I left college, I was so traumatized because I had just done nothing but work. You know, I look up and it's like I go to these interviews and they say, well, what clubs were you involved in in college or what are your interests? And I, I don't have nothing to say. I have to make up something because I didn't do anything because I was just I treated college like a job. And then, you know, I already had jobs. So um, I think that's why for so long I just worked one job and I was just kind of content with being in that tax bracket of, you know, poor, <laughs> you know, working hourly for not much money, just because I was so tired of overworking myself. But I think at this point, until I get to where I want to be in the immediate time, living in Atlanta is expensive. Being an adult is expensive. We are knee deep, elbow deep, belly button deep in a recession. I need money and gas is fucking $5 and groceries is high as hell. I need money now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Make some money now. And I think too, one, it gets me out so I get to be social, but two, by being busy, it forces me not to go out. Cause going out in Atlanta, you easily spend $100. Like that's the bare minimum. If you go out in Atlanta, you're gonna spend $100. Easy, unless you're pretty and men buy your stuff, which even then you could still have men buy your stuff and you still end up paying because, you know, people don't do stuff for free. They'll buy your stuff and then expect you to go home with them and I'm not with that. I'll pay for my shit outright, I'm okay. Um, but you know, I think it also forces me to sit my ass down, which also forces me to save money, which then allows me to have more money. Notice the cycle here. <laughs> So I don't know. I just wanted to share this because I feel like there's probably someone out there that is struggling financially that feels like, you know, they're just drowning in debt or drowning in bills or drowning in general. And you don't really know what to do. And you want that job, that dream job, or you at least want a better job and you're not really getting anything right now. You know, I'm not telling you to go out and get a second job because not everybody is able. But if you can, why not? Everyone can use some extra money these days. It's over here now. It's not over here no more. I like it. I just, like I said, I ain't getting no new shit. I just rearranged my shit. But I and like I the layout. A, a little shrine for my baby girl. Aww. And then I got this. Stepmom had got me this little necklace. It basically, uh, it's her name and my last name. That's beautiful. And then, um, shit. Not the Chicago Bulls. You love Chicago. One thing. Of course I you do. gonna what step. You, you gonna step behind your city, huh? Come on, period. Any day. Not any. any, any day. Not any day. Not any time. Any day. Let's go. Mm -mm. You love your damn city. I love to see it. Hey friends, so today is Monday the 11th, yeah, Monday the 11th. Um, I think I told y'all that I got the job at TJ Maxx, so I'm super excited about that. Also, if you heard in the last clip, that girl that I was on the phone with, that's the fine one that I told y'all I was trying to give another chance to, but she wasn't really talking to me, so it was kind of like, fuck it. <laughs> Well, she finally called me. She FaceTimes me. And, you know, we talked a little bit. I also went on a date with my short queen. <laughs> um, this girl that, you know, is cool. I, you know, I like her. So, it was fun. But y'all know I'm still in the whole phase. I'm not here to keep none of these people. I'm just having a good time. But I just wanted to update you guys. I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here or if I will wait like a couple more days because I'm supposed to start work at TJ Maxx on Wednesday so I don't know if I'll wait for that or if we'll just end it here and then you know I'll let y'all know how that goes I'll just let y'all know now this vlog is like never ending like I say goodbye like four times <laughs> so don't believe me until you see like the end where like the cards come up and like the subscribe little circle come up don't believe me when i say goodbye because i'm gonna say goodbye like four times um at, you know in the next vlog but i want to talk to y'all because do y'all watch p valley pussy valley p 
P-Valley is so good this season. Like, the first episode kind of threw me off, so I didn't know if I was going to like it. But this new season is really good. Um, the new episode where Big Bone, aka Miracle Watts, is fucking, <laughs> um, just came out, like, yesterday. Um, and it was good. My only thing with P-Valley is, like, it be having me go through the emotions. Like, I'm laughing, then I'm crying. And it's gotten very, uh, vulgar this season. Okay, they're showing, you know, penises. It's a lot, but it's really, really good. I highly recommend. If you ever wanted to watch P-Valley or you've ever considered it, watch it. It's really, really good. Um, but yeah, the new episode came out and... Uh, spoiler alert by the way but you should have seen it by the time this video is out but we lost TK we lost first of all LaMurda had a man a little bit he had a man and then now look at that his man is gone now he's trying to be with Clifford because that's who he really wants and then it's just a lot going on and then if y'all saw the new episode did y'all see the sex scene with um Haley, aka Takeisha, Lakeisha Savage aka Autumn Night and um what's his name Andre I almost called him Anthony Andre like it was so I didn't like it and it's crazy because the first season we all wanted them to like have sex because I felt like the connection was there the passion was there but this season it just feels very like unseasoned does that make sense like their sex gave me like boiled chicken a little bit and I don't know if it's just because it felt kind of random for them to now have sex or if it was just like there wasn't a lot of build up to it like it was just they just fuck it. I don't know but it just felt awkward but then again I I guess but like mm. but you know whose sex was not awkward baby mercedes and farah aka the coach's wife girl and then the coach got mad and like pulled out because his wife you know is, is fucking his his mistress better than him yeah yup. Yeah. so it was funny that was really good i just hope like i really hope the miss not not the mistress the farah the wife i really hope she comes like to get mercedes like in a good way like oh let me let me go get my girl you know what I mean like I hope they get to try to date or something or talk at least like on the side because I could tell that Farrah was really into Mercedes and the Mercedes experience but then like it just got awkward because the coach her husband was upset and feels like oh you cheating on me or oh my god Mercedes you turn my wife out when it's like no your wife's been gay for a while actually she just happens to be with you <laughs> Um, so that was interesting. What else? Especially, like, the, this episode before that with Keyshawn, like, just seeing her journey, seeing the colorism that she was dealing with, seeing the fact that, like, anytime someone let her down, Derek happened to be there, but then Derek became the exact, like, person that he doesn't want to be, which is his father, because his father used to hit him, and now Derek is hitting... Keyshawn's like three-year-old child and he's hitting Keyshawn but we already know that but then in the, in the new episode she like tries to get away from him and he took the fucking battery out the car like I'm just I don't know it's very triggering because some of y'all might know some of y'all might not know but my best friend my closest friend um she lost her life to domestic violence and that's why sometimes it's so like triggering to watch a little bit but then at the same time I'm glad they're showing it because it's real like people will stay when they're when they're getting beaten when their kids are getting beaten they'll stay when this person is you know this close to taking their life um it's hard you know what I mean and then what happens is that person will isolate you so nobody fucks with you like y'all see Keyshawn nobody messes with her nobody talks to her nobody calls her like uncle you know uncle clifford ain't calling her autumn ain't calling her mercedes sure as hell ain't calling her like nobody's checking on her nothing so it's like she's isolated and she's going through this abuse alone essentially and she doesn't have her family because we saw in her backstory her stepmama is a bitch and her dad is um I was, I was gonna say the word her dad is r kelly if you get what i'm saying with how r kelly is with young women with underage women her daddy is like that 
So she don't have nobody to talk to. I wonder what happened to her mom. If maybe her mom can, I don't know. But I say all that to say, P Valley is so good this season. So if you are not watching it, I definitely highly recommend it. It's not the same sponsor, child. They don't know me, but it was really good. It was really good. And it sh I was shocked when I saw Jocelyn in the fucking show. I said, not do it like a short B day. Baby, I want to ride it, baby. <laughs> Bitch, let me tell you what the fuck is going on. Um, It's early. That's why my retainer is still in and the camera's blurry because I just turned this bitch on. Today's Wednesday. I start my new job at TJ Maxx on Thursday. It was going to be today, but the lady who's going to do it just came back and she was on vacation. Anyway, not the point. That's out why. <sighs> Bitch, you won't believe what the fuck happened. Like, I am upset. I'm about to give you screenshots. I'm about to give you video. Video, ho. Do it like a sure beat day, baby. Like, I'm very, like, I'm very annoyed. And I'm very upset. And I was going to come to y'all yesterday when it happened. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to show this person's face. But since they don't care about showing my face, I really don't give a fuck. So this is going to be a little messy end to the vlog. Y'all thought the vlog was ending on Monday, today's Wednesday. Now it's finna, you know, it's actually going to end. It's not. <laughs> it's not ending. So here's what happened. So I usually date older women, right? If you follow me on Twitter, which you should follow me on Twitter, you would have saw me ranting about this yesterday. So you already know what the fuck's going on. But because y'all don't follow me on Twitter, you wouldn't know. So basically, I usually date older women. I've always liked women that were older since maybe I was 22. Because I at first, when I first came out at 19, I was only dating people my age or like a little younger. Since then, I've only dated women, you know, five years older than me, seven years older than me, ten years older than me. I've always dated older, right? Well, bitch, because, you know, I'm in a whole phase and I'm in a whole season, very much a Jezebel spirit, I've just been, like, just dating. <clears throat> now, for me, the youngest I will go is 22. I feel like 22, because I'm 25, is the youngest I can go. Because once you get to, like, 21, you just was able to drink and I you just was able to drink publicly. Um, 19, gross. That feels like a child. 20 still gross still feels like a child that's why when these grown-ass men be dating like 19 year olds it's very weird it's giving you like children but that's for another day this girl very angry still she messages me at like three in the morning right i haven't spoken to her in a while i'm gonna post a screenshot of i'm gonna block out her number will i no i don't block out her number but she texts me i haven't spoken to her in over a month and she's like baby girl and i'm like hey lol um i don't know why he's calling me a baby girl again she's 22 and i stopped talking to her because she very much acts very childish that's why we don't talk now because why would i mm. so I'm trying to position y'all somewhere so i could hold the phone and read all this so she was like baby girl and i'm like hey lol then she's like posted you on my story baby girl and i'm like did you tag me in it i don't see it because i'm thinking it's probably a tiktok or something like i'm not thinking too deep into it i'm like oh, okay because it's three in the morning and frankly i don't really care because again we have to talk because i don't want to talk to you because you're a child anyway and you act like a child so <clears throat> she was like no lol i don't want nobody talking to my girl what <laughs> so i'm like lol you up late huh and she was like man i'm for real going through it gotta leave these straight women alone for real and i'm like what happened she was like that's basically it lmao i be setting myself up i've been fucking with straight women majority of the year like i gotta be nuts i'm too fine and dedicated for them actually facetime ask me to facetime her y'all why did i later because again it's three o'clock in the morning i'm not even really up to really be able to digest what the fuck is going on so later on in the day i'm like okay let me go see her story because she probably it was like a tiktok or something maybe i did something funny on tiktok that she wanted to revisit y'all why did this little girl screen record our facetime call from over a month ago probably two months ago honestly 
post it as if it just happened just to make this other girl jealous because the straight girl picked a nigga with a real penis over her like what what do you mean why first of all you're weird for recording me without my knowledge then you're weird for saving it for over a month when we haven't spoken then you're weird again for posting it just to make someone jealous and then you're even more weird for posting it to make it look like this happened last night when we have not spoken in over a month so i text her right sorry the camera is you know my bad i ain't i ain't got to stand for it at the moment um, not at least not one that I'm putting in my bed. Anyway, then I text her at two um <coughs> at two thirteen in the afternoon because now I've digested what the fuck just happened and I'm like why I'm like we haven't talked in a while and you post me on your Instagram just to make another girl jealous. Very weird. I stopped talking to you because I think you're a bit too emotionally young for me and clearly you were liking that girl you talked to me about. This is a straight girl. Um, and I never want to step in the way of people being together. Also, it's very gross and rude of you to be recording me on FaceTime without me knowing. Again, very weird. I don't like that. Her response is, okay. And then her response after that is, all my bitches making me mad today. That's crazy. All my bitches? All my bitches. So my response is, it's a good thing I'm not one of your bitches. Blocked. I don't, let me make this very clear. I don't block people. I might just untape your number. I might just not text back. I'm not a blocker. I feel like, because for me, once you are blocked, you do not come back. Once you are blocked, you do not come back. Once you are blocked, you never, ever come back especially because once I block you what I do is I I first of all I block the number I let me give you the rundown I unsave the number her number was already unsaved but I'm just giving you the full thing I unsave the number I block the number then I delete the thread which means there's no possibility for me to resuscitate this conversation again and this bitch yes I'm calling her a bitch because she called me one what the fuck is wrong with you this is why everybody you know not everybody but sometimes people be asking me like why do you date like older women why don't you date women that's like your age or have you ever dated a little younger and I always say like even though the older bitches <laughs> these older ladies do be having their own issues and like they're not perfect either and obviously they have their own maturing to do they're a lot more mature than these fucking you know girls in college you know what I mean like it's just it's still a little bit better they're usually a little bit more established they're usually more settled in a career they usually have a little bit more money they're usually a little bit more um emotionally stable they probably have their own place like it's just they're in a different place in their life which is why I tend to go for that because I'm working towards being in that type of place in my life I be mean, technically I am I have my own place and stuff and I make my own money clearly I'm, I have two jobs but I'm just you get what I'm saying so that really pissed me off because again I wanted to give her a chance because she came after me she found me on, on TikTok then she DM me on Instagram and then you know me just again being in a whole phase I'm like well I could give her a chance because I don't usually give people a chance like when they DM me or something I'm just like huh thanks and then I move on but I'm like you know what I don't be giving people off Instagram a chance I usually like will go and look for them versus them coming to find me so let me you know let me give her a chance regret it hate that for me terrible decision worst decision ever <laughs> hated here so yeah that really like i've never been so angry not let me not say i've never been so angry but it's like who the fuck do you think you are to talk to me like that like oh oh my bitch is making me mad today bit what do you mean i haven't spoke to you in a month for a reason and i came at you very calm and i explained that what you're doing is weird it's a weird action and then your response is just oh oh my bitch is making me mad today like you can't even take no accountability because you know you're wrong and because you're too childish to just be honest about it baby girl you got caught girl you're wrong girl you're fucked up and girl you're just upset because that straight girl don't want you why would you do some shit like that you're weird but see this is why not to like take it 
too far but this is why for me I never send nudes I never like get naked on FaceTime I never send super suggestive pictures even if you're not naked but I don't send suggestive pictures there's a reason why I don't do that is because you never know who's really lame and people who do who expose people are lame and she gives me lame like she would expose somebody on Twitter just because she got an argument and now she posting a sex videos on the internet and then now she can't take it back but because her and the girl are cool again now she got to try to delete it but it's already screen recording and someone already posted it on the Twitter porn page you know y'all know how this shit go so that's why it's like again there's a reason why I, I don't do that and again it's not to shame nobody who does because you should feel free to be able to share your body with who you want to share your body with that's a big part of being in a whole face that I've learned you know or that's just a part of life as a young adult I'm just saying for me I never want to get caught up where I find myself on somebody OnlyFans or I find myself on somebody Snapchat or somebody Twitter page you know what I mean even though people be so lame and so weird that they'll secretly record you when you're literally having sex and not tell you that's what she gives me she gives me she be secretly recording people when she has sex like it's very weird very thank god like I said I stopped talking to her we never met in person and we never fucking will I blocked her there's no resuscitation because when I block you I also delete the thread and unsave your number so there's no possible way for me to find it Mm -mm. that really pissed me off but again now this is the end of the video I'm just I'm so like why would you do that and then the for that to be your response oh all my bitches are making me mad I'm not one of your bitches <laughs> um, mm, I, we don't like that y'all I swear this is just a never ending vlog <laughs> I swear this is just like a never-ending vlog like I've said bye three times now <laughs> um but today is Friday I'm finally gonna edit this video someone actually dm'd me on Instagram was like I need a new video and I'm like I'm so sorry but I started my second job yesterday at TJ Maxx and it went good so we'll see I have a I have a good feeling um but yeah for the third time now who knows I might be back tomorrow <laughs> but um as of right now this is the official 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 end of the vlog um no other updates just you know a little dating me and the fine one the fine fine one we've been talking a little more me and you know me me and all my my little lady friends um but yeah that's that's about it like I said no real news it's just you know I'm excited to start working I'm excited to make extra money and yeah that's about it I'm so sorry again I'm giving y'all a new video please don't yell at me um or actually please do yell at me like please hold me accountable be like bitch where's the video at because I should have uploaded this a while ago but I love y'all so much and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe for the ninth time, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.